Welcome to a, a Great Carol basic tutorial. I'm going to take you through installing and using the latest release of Great Carol Basic, which is March 2015. So let's start by opening up a browser and going to the Great Carol Basic website. Um, just to show you how you can find that, that's out on, it's on SourceForge, and this is our home page with the announcement. But I want to take your eyes to this. Um, link down here the SourceForge project page and in here this is our project page where you can get support the code and other um, summary items but I want you to down do a download to download the latest code this will download a very small um, uh, web page and that gives you some options for downloading I've opened that and the top option here is to all the download options but I want you to go directly to the hot release and that hot release um, is a zip file and it will download that whilst we're talking. So in a few seconds that download will, store, will uh, start and I'm actually going to open that when done. Okay, whilst it's doing that, uh, we'll minimise that. I'm going to just show you my configuration. So I've got a computer, we're going to install the zip in a moment and then we're going to uh, do some changes to the system. Um, I want to show you initially my computer just so that you know what I've got hooked up. Today we're going to be programming a, a, um, an AVR. It's going to be a Mega um, 328P. Why have I brought you into here? Just to show you that I've got one attached. It's attached to my com comms port. I'm using a CP2101 device and that's attached to my COM12. So out here, attached to COM12, I've got a mega mega device and we're going to have a look at that in a moment but it's important that we uh, recognize that that's sitting out there on com 12. okay in a few moments that's in a few moments it's downloaded that from the internet and i'm simply going to drag that onto my uh, desktop to show you what happens when you do the install it's currently um, just unpacking and it's unpacking the distribution for great car base it's the help files, the 160 plus demonstration files, Great Cow Graphical Basic, there's a preview version in there, plus some installers for pit kits, etc. And so in those few moments, it's put that on my desktop. So if I close that and get rid of that and open this folder, I just want to create a link to this thing called IDE.exe on my desktop. So I'm going to create that link. And then I'm going to minimize that down. And um, not sure where my link's gone to. I'll do that properly this time. Create a link on the desktop. It's on my desktop. Um, the issue is that uh, it's putting it over here. And I've just hid my icons again. So with this link, you can then enter the the IDE. The IDE will then open up a handful of files. And it's actually five files. There's the release notes of, of 0 0.94. You can look through those at your leisure. The history of this IDE, the editor I'm looking at. A readme file with respect to the IDE and Great Car Basic. And then two batch files which we're going to focus on the AVR batch file in a moment and we're going to just sort that out. Uh, whilst we're in here, we may as well look at this interface. We've got some icons in this area here. We've got the editor here and then we've got the tree and if we have some great car basic code in there, we'll uh, see that being displayed. So why don't we open something up? I'm going to go into my desktop. I'm going to look at that um, install I've got. And I've just put this in here. So if I look inside my Great Car Basic and inside a demonstrator, I can see these demonstration files. And what we'll do is we're going to look at um, an I2E discovery piece of code. And we're going to be, we know that um, I'm going to have a, I've got a 328, Mega 238 attached. And we can see that on this screen here, I've got it all color coded. I've got my header at the top. I've got my chip selection and now all the commands in the IDE are highlighted and you've got um, help as well 
for um, for type ahead etc and so if you press a particular command like this one it will take you into the help file if when you're um, trying to type something in like wait it will um, prompt you with the um, with the help on with um, recommendation it will tell you what the parameters are etc etc so the IDE is quite rich in terms of the support so I want to do something on a program my computer so I can um, see what's going on here so the first thing I've got to do is attach the IDE over to my devices well, in here I've got this flash AVR and we've given you a whole series of options here so you can actually do your own configuration etc etc well I'm going to be using um, uh, AVR dude and in the distribution that code included so if we have a look at that we can just ensure that my setup's okay so if I look inside AVR dude and then take this application here I get um, I can see my screen I can see that um, I've got some programmers. Well, I know I've got. I'm going to be using this serial um, communicator, so that's the Arduino. I've already said it's on COM12. Um, I know the baud rate is 57600. So if I just um, do a detect on that, it will show me that the device is live, and I've got it. So I'm talking to that device, and I'm going to change. I'm going to move those parameters over to my batch file, uh, which is going to be used during my programming. Well, to be quite frank, I'm going to cheat a little bit. And just to save time, I've actually got my one previously from previous, so I'm simply going to copy that in. I'm going to explain it. And so here is my command for uh, my AVR dude. Here it is. I'm programming a type as an Arduino. It's on COM12, 56, 57600, and the rest of these parameters are already set. So you have to change the COM port and the baud rate to match your configuration. Let's save that away. I've just saved that away. So I've got a piece of code here. I'm going to compile that up into a hex file. And if I press the hex button or function key F6, it will compile this up and it will give us another part of the dialog. I just want to quickly show you. At the bottom here, I've got another window which tells me the runtime information with respect to the size of the program, etc. And if I go to that folder where that file has been created, there will be other uh, files in there that we can have a look at. So if I go into the right hand mouse button on that tab, I can copy that directory path into the clipboard. And then I can have a look in there to see what is actual, uh, what else has been created. And there's other files being created, so I can look at that. And here is a report out for this particular program. So my IDE is sort of coping with all that and does that for me. So let's, uh, I've just compiled that. Let's actually um, see if we can actually program this um, microprocessor. So I'm going to take uh, the hex and the program now. And I'm going to then pass that along into that batch file we've just edited. And it's going to program it. Well, I don't know that because you, you don't know what's sitting out there. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this terminal. I've got a terminal hooked up. Now I've also got a COM6, a communication port 6 on my computer. And that is, I'm going, and this particular code here talks to my um, COM port. This microprocessor talks to my COM port at 9600. And it's going to display back the I2E hardware dis discovered. Okay. So if I, um, if I connect up, I'm actually going to disconnect. I'm just going to use a different um, editor. I'm going to use um, Putty. I like Putty a lot. It's a better display for everybody. And if I run that piece of code again, um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll quickly flash that again by pressing the flash button. What I'll do is, as while that's flashing, I'll get some output on the screen. I haven't got any output on the screen, so because my serial um, port is disconnected over here. So I'm just going to reconnect that. It'll take me a few seconds. I'm just going to connect up my serial port to my Arduino, so to my uh, microprocessor. So 
So I've just hit the reset button on the uh, on the Mega 328P, and it's displayed to me my devices that are attached to that um, that uh, processor. So I've got a, a piece of uh, an IC, uh, I2C uh, LCD display. I've got an EEPROM, and I've got a real-time clock um, uh, um, uh, alongside uh, uh, attached to it. So what I've briefly shown you is um, that the um, the editor, the editor interface, quickly changing that batch file that you're going to have to do. Uh, have a look on the uh, forum and on the uh, YouTube for the videos on how to do a very simple interface into um, uh, Pick Kit Two and Pick Kit Three. Um, but what all I wanted to show you is um, really that it is relatively simple to set up. Great Car Basic, drag, drop, edit some files, and uh, you're operational. I oh, will call that a wrap.